Hey, I'm Coach Grayson at Navarro Elementary. I am your PE coach. Today I'm gonna read you a book. It's called I Am Not a Chair, and the author is Mr. Ross B. On Giraffe's first day in the jungle, he felt something wasn't right. Can I share that chair, he asked. Chair, I'm not a chair. Giraffe knew he needed to clear things up right away. But splat, he couldn't get the words out. I'm a giraffe, can't they see? I have spots and ears and eyes and whatever these things are. If they couldn't see the difference, giraffe would have to show them. Now that's a chair, looks nothing like me. New friends were already headed his way. Problems were solved. Then came the hippos. Wobble, 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 oomph. Oh no, my chair. I'll fix it, he said, sniff, sniff. This goes here, that goes there. Giraffe's first day could not get any worse, but at least no one could sit on him now. Flap, 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 some birds flew in. While Giraffe looked for a solution, someone was spying on him. A human, surely he'll know who I am. The human says, look at those spots. It's perfect, smartest species, yeah, right. Enough, I am not a chair, and I'm speaking up to the next animal I see. The next animal I see will be my dinner even if I have to sit here all night. Giraffe wished he could run. He wished he could hide. He wished he wasn't so afraid. No, I need to speak up. I need to be me. And Giraffe couldn't hold it any longer. I've got to pee, he said. Okay, here goes nothing, gulp. Excuse me, he said to the little lion. Ah, run for your lives, a talking chair? Then the giraffe says, I'm not a chair, I'm a giraffe. And the next day he told everyone, and everything felt right once again. Me, a chair, can you believe it? No way. The end. All right. Good job. Good job, Coach Anila, my assistant for the day. Thank you, guys. He got confused to be a chair, but he really wasn't.